ACS Publications Literature Search, brought to you by the John M. Fowle Library at California State University, San Bernardino. My name is Bonnie Petrie. I'm one of the reference librarians, and I'm going to show you how to find scholarly journal articles with original research in the ACS Publications database. First, let's take a look at how you find the database. On the library's website, click on the button that says Choose a Database. On the next screen, look for the subject area Chemistry. Now you're in the list of all the databases that we recommend for the subject of Chemistry, and ACS Publications is the second one right there. When you're off campus and you're trying to access any of our databases, you will have to log in with your normal My Coyote login. I'm already logged in on another tab here, and I've got my search entered ready to go, so let's take a look at that. I've entered a search for nanoparticles and chicken feathers because I saw a television show where they interviewed a scientist who had figured out how to use the chicken feathers, which are a waste product of the poultry industry, to manufacture nanoparticles. And when I click into the search box and start typing, it expands and gives me some options down here. Uh, should I want to search just one particular journal, I can click here for a drop-down menu. That gives me a list of titles of all the journals, and I could select one and add that into my search but I want to search all of the journals at once, and so I'm going to just go and click Search. So our search found 39 things, and over here on the left, we're seeing that there are more things in this database than journal articles. We've got some book chapters, we've got some news items, and the journal article total here is 20 of the 39, but journal articles vary, and not all of them contain original research. Some of them are review articles, some of them are book reviews. Some of them might even be letters to the editor and other kinds of things. In most cases, what you're, uh, what you're looking for for your assignments are research articles with that original research, and here we have 18 things. So I'm going to click there to narrow my results. And let's take a look at one of those 18 things. I'm going to go to number two here. And what we're seeing is the title of the article with our search terms highlighted. We're seeing the authors of the article, the title of the journal, Langmuir, the year of publication, the volume number, the issue number, and the pages, all on this line right here. Uh, publication date. Uh, the date it appeared on the website, and the digital object identifier number, which is important for your citation. Over here on the right-hand side, we see the title of the journal again, and they've pulled a graphic from the article, if that's available. And this is another way, if you wanted to search just this individual journal, because you found this article that matched your topic so well, you could click here and go to a page where you can search just that journal and the search box at the top will automatically preset itself to search just that one title. We've got some other controls down here underneath the citation information. Uh, you're seeing full text HTML, full text PDF, and in this database um, it's good to know that the full text HTML is the only version of the full text that will let you go to the end of the article to that list of references and choose things from the list of references that match your topic and then run automatic searches for those articles with the search for full text button which you see here. And I'll be demonstrating that in just a minute. The PDF version looks just like a printed page, and some folks find that easier to read. The PDF version does not give you those links to the full text. And you may have noticed that there's two things that say abstract, 
and there's a difference here. Let me show you. The bottom one, when you click on it, just shows you the abstract, nothing else. And the abstracts are useful for getting an idea of what's in the article and whether it's a good match for your topic. And that's before you bother to get the full text and read all of that article. And the abstract button up here takes you to a page where you can see more than just the abstract. And let me point out some things here. So we're seeing the information that we had before and some other controls and things are coming up. The graphic is here again and there's that abstract and some other things. All right. So uh, the numbers that you see here, article views, alt metric, although this particular article doesn't have a number here, and citations relate to the interest that scientists have in tracking their published research. Uh, what's important for you here is the number of citations, and this means the number of other authors who have used this article in their research and they have cited it. This is a great way to build on your topic and find more articles. And if you click here, it jumps you down to those citations and there's your big blue search for full text button that will take you to the full text if it can be found anywhere among our more than 150 databases here at CSUSB. And I'm going to go back to the top. The other things that we have going on here that I want to point out, you do have a share feature, which allows you to use social media or email. I'm going to skip over the add to control because you would need to set up a free um, account with the ACS folks in order to use that feature. Uh, I'm going to go to the third thing, export, RIS. Um, this database will automatically cite every, every article and thing that you find here. It does it in an RIS format, which is only readable by citation management software. And fortunately, uh, CSUSB supports the Zotero citation management software, which is free to you and we have tutorials and uh, very often workshops on how to use it. Uh, the in the library guide uh, I created for this class, I have links to the tutorials and some of the other information on Zotero. So do keep that in mind. Okay, we have the obviously the PDF full text there. We've got something that's unique to this database, the supporting information. Uh, this is uh, information that is supplied by the authors of the article that goes along with their research that supports the research that they're presenting. And the Read Online button gets you to that HTML full text with the ability to check those references at the end and find full text on those. And I'm going to click on that. And I have to scroll rather a lot. We're seeing the article here on the left and some uh, graphs and things from the article on the right. There we go. So for the references, if you see anything that was cited here that looks good and you would like to find out if we have the full text, Click that search for full text button and you automatically launch a search across all of our databases, all of our subscriptions, and everything. I'd like to show you just one more search. I'm going to go to the ACS Publications logo and click. That brings me back to the front page here. I'm going to enter my next search.
microplastic consumption, human. You hear a lot about that these days. Okay, my keyword search has found 167 things. And again, I'm going to come down to article type and choose research article. You have to do that every time you run a search or alter a search and run it again uh, because it just it seems to forget what you what you asked for before. So remember to do that because that's important. And I have 96 things. I would like to narrow this down a little bit more because that's a long list to deal with. And one way of doing that is kind of taking a look at some of the things that have come up. Uh, not necessarily reading the entire articles, maybe just looking at the abstracts and so forth, and maybe getting some inspiration from some of the topics that are coming up. And so I spotted one that mentions drinking water. Comes in plastic bottles, right? So I'm going to go up here. This is one way that you can alter your search. Just click and leave a space. And I'm going to put in drinking water. And I've put quotation marks around the phrase drinking water so I can have the database find those two words together in that order as one unit. And now I've got 35 things. Okay, something else that I want to point out here that may help you you notice that once you run a search, you get this, Refine Search. This is another way that you can refine your searches here, if you choose to do that. Instead of Anywhere, you can click this open and choose Title, Author, Abstract, even the caption of a figure or table. That's great if you're looking for particular data. Um, you have some other things here that you can explore. And possibly the most used thing is a date range. Very often you'll have a certain time period that you're looking for. The other thing that you get here when you click the refine search, in addition to the advanced options, is your search history. Maybe you're running searches and refining them and you realize that the one that gave you the best results was the last one you did or the one before that not the one you're looking at. You can click on Refine Search, go to your search history, and see the list of all of the searches that you've been doing. And you can run them again. They will not be saved um, unless you have that free account with the ACS folks and you make a point of saving them. And then in that case, they would show up over here. They will stay as long as you're logged on to the database in one search session. So that still is helpful. All right, and I'd like to wind up with just one last thing that I discovered. We actually have information about Star Trek in this database. And we have found 111 things that mention Star Trek. And what do you know? There are 25 research articles. And the first one here is Thermochemistry, Dilithium Crystals, and Star Trek. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your research.